my goodness, that's good, isn't it? That's perfect. That oh, is that awesome is superb. Play. The All England champion. Hello and welcome to HSBC Sport Couch Commentary. I'm Jill Clark and I'm absolutely delighted to say that we're joined today by Lisi Jha, the new star of Malaysian Badminton. Well, let's talk about your All England uh, win in Birmingham in March. And you came into the tournament uh, as number six seed and in the quarterfinal you had to play against the 2019 winner, the two-time reigning world champion Kenta Momota. Now, I know that you had played against each other six times previously and you'd never won a game, let alone win a match. So how would you go from never taking a game off the motor to beating him in two straight games? Mm, I think before the, the day when I know uh, I have to play more time for the final, I have a thought that why why every time I can't even like win a single game from Momota. I think when you play Momota, I think in God he's everywhere. Every shot you make, he will he will just re return it. So I think from mentality, he is quite strong. So uh, from that day, I told myself that tomorrow it will be a very tough match and I will try everything to just uh, try to win a single set from him. And that's my target at that time. What interests me is, is the win at the All Englands in only your second appearance at the tournament is pretty incredible. And also to think that to win the All England, which is uh, HSBC, BWF World Tour Super 1000 event. Prior to that, you'd only won one Super 300 event. It's a huge leap up. And so coming into these bigger tournaments, did you always believe that was possible? Did you dream about it? Did you believe it? Mm, I think everyone dream about it uh, to be winning in All England, All England champion. So for me, at that moment when I was in the final, I just saw that is an opportunity for me to winning an All England champion because he's a very meaningful champion, uh, not just in our career in Malaysia. Also, All England champion is a very uh, big tournament for for all of Malaysia. So I saw that opportunity. I said I have to go all out for it and and just just winning that champion back. That's, that's all I told myself, yeah. That's fantastic because to me, sport is all about grasping the opportunities and making the most of those fleeting opportunities. So, so uh, I mean, you more than did that. And, and you're right, I mean, uh, you're talking about in Malaysia, the All England is a very special event. I think it's a very special event for, for, for most badminton players, but you know, the, it's, so popular as a sport, the sport of badminton in Malaysia. Um, and I think after your victory, I think even the Prime Minister congratulated you on Facebook. So, you know, apart from everybody taking notice, what do you think it means to people in Malaysia, the fact that at the age of 22, you win the All England title? There's also uh, been a very big pressure for me uh, all the time after, especially after Dato Lee Chong Wei uh, retired. And and I think uh, after this tournament, I have proved it that uh, I'm going to be the one. I, I guess, uh, Zizhar, the big breakthrough for you after the uh, bronze medal at the World Junior Championships came when you were just 20. And in 2018, you won the Chinese Taipei Super 300 event, having beaten the number one seed and two-time defending champion, Chou Tian Chen, in the semi-final. And you won that title while playing your first tournament back on the World Tour after a long time out with a back injury. Yeah, uh, before, before the Taipei Open, I almost rest like two to three months because I'm uh, having a back injury and uh, there's a uh, this uh, for me the Taipei Open is a very uh, memor memorable uh, honor for me because uh, I just having my injury back and I got into the final and win the champion and almost uh, and also win 
uh, Cho Tian Chen also. And uh, it's a big confidence for me uh, to continue my career and also uh, to challenge my my career also. It's a, it's a big, very big confidence for me, yeah. Yeah, I, I felt it was very much a, a turning point that could launch you onto bigger and better things. But it, it's interesting to me that you come out of that low of the back injury to an immediate high so that, you know, I, I'm interested to know how you cope with the lows because uh, for any athlete, an injury is a low. And I don't know whether you've had to battle back from any other particular lows in your career, but it's quite astonishing that you came out of that in such a positive way. For me, because in that three months when uh, I had having injury and I didn't get good result, if I don't take this opportunity, maybe later I will don't have no more chance for me. But from that moment, I just told myself that I have to work hard and I have to prove myself. I have to prove to the association that uh, I'm the one who's going to replace Dato Lee Chong Wei. Well, Lisi Jia, it, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. And thank all of you for watching and joining us on HSBC Sport Couch Commentary with the All England Champion, Lisi Jia. Make sure you follow HSBC Sport for more exclusive badminton content in the future. But in the meantime, from Lisi Jia and myself, Jill Clark, bye for now.